um, accomplish your goal, it can be accomplished on your own. Yeah. Absolutely. Or having to be beholden to somebody and get, you let them say yes or no, like give you the thumbs up. It, sure. There is no yes or no. Just do it. Right, right. You know, like, Don't let no one else control gonna, your destiny. Right, if it's going to work, it's going to work. And if it doesn't, then you do another one and you try another one and you keep banging it until you kick the door down. That's Absolutely. It's not that hard. Absolutely. That, that's basically what it boils down to. That's what I've been told my whole life. You know, If you don't succeed, try, try again. Philip, yeah. I'd like to thank you, you work, for your you time. More, you Go learn ahead. more about failing anyway. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You you learn from your failures more than, than you learn from anything else, that is for sure, folks. Yeah. Yeah. And uh I can uh for those of you who know me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have uh the only other thing I've been I up and I've been down. Is, yeah. The only other thing I could tell you is this is that I got the voiceover stuff, I got my projects production company, but I'm a football fanatic, and I'm so happy right now it's back. And I also play fantasy football and all that stuff. And I'm yeah. just like, it's insanely like yitty right now, like a school <laughs> kid. Who's your favorite team? Denver. Denver. Jets, baby. Yeah, I don't know. See, now if I was still in in uh, in the football scene and I was still a fan, I would have to go. With the Broncos, I, I just, I, you know, that old Mile High Stadium, and I'm a, I'm a, you know, an activist. So yeah, you know, some about them, them, uh, them stoner football players, I just gotta endorse. But honestly, um, yeah, if my like, mother, you like, you like, a, you like a team where the the city has legalized weed. So you're a Seattle fan. <laughs> Hell <Seattle> yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I, I honestly, if my mother was still alive, she would kick my ass for saying what I just said and say Giants all the way and then smack me in the head again because, like I said, I'm born and raised in Long Island. So, you know, Islanders, I Giants, to, all of that. Yeah. I used to, I used to, I, I used to hate the Giants, but then I was like, it's, it's too much energy to hate the Giants. How could you hate the yeah, Giants, man? Well, I can understand you. You're from Connecticut. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just, well, I'm breaking your balls now, up, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, the Patriots were horrible. Oh, yeah. When I was growing up, they were horrible. Uh, I got a buddy of mine who's a, a Patriots fan. I used to say the same thing. Yeah. But they used to suck, dude. <laughs> right. But they most of them don't even remember that. So yeah, they're, no. like, they're like Cowboys, man. And the Cowboys are good. They're just like 10 billion fans. Sure, it's same as, yeah. same like here, you know, when the Tampa Bay um, Buccaneers are doing good, they got billions and billions of fans. When they suck, they got three fans, you know, there's no loyalty. But yeah. they've sucked forever, they were good like once. They were good like once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they should shit. bring back the old uniforms. You think so? I like them. I, think, I heard yeah, the I Eagles are going back to their they, old ones too. They did better with their old uniforms. <laughs> I actually yeah. got a gig coming up in the Tampa Bay, uh, in the stadium down here. I got the old uh, cool. One Direction concert that I'm going to cover. That ought to be fun as hell. Joy, happy, happy. I don't even know who the heck, they, what songs are there. I I just know my daughter likes it, and I got into the place. There you so go. Can, yeah, so, but. Anyway, Philip, hey, listen, man, we're going to we're gonna jump off of here, and, and I really appreciate you calling. Um, anytime you want to call in, ring in, uh, you know, you got uh, some announcements, new shit you got going on, uh, you, or you just want to get on and, and talk shit, buddy, you are more than welcome. Okay, Save that cool. number. Absolutely. Yeah, if somebody pisses okay. you off to call in. Yeah, yeah, we know that happens a lot up there. So, yeah, if you're, if you're walking or driving I'll, or anything I'll like that, that, yeah. I'll do a New York bum rush sometime. I'll bum rush the show. I like it. Nice. I absolutely yeah. love it. You're always welcome. Philip, thank you very much thank for you. your time. I uh, right, appreciate guys. you calling in to talk shit, and we hope to hear from you soon, buddy. All right, thank you. All right, bud. I'll hit you up offline. Once I get off uh, the, the show, I'll give you a holler. All right, that was Philip Galinsky. It was uh, that was a good in- interview, man. He seems uh, he seems like he's pretty cool. I um I want to get in to his page and and uh, check out some of his stuff. It sounds like it's going to be pretty fun. That that Facebook show. Yeah, I was getting kind of like depressed when he started talking about his life. Oh, you know? I know, right? I was like, oh my god, he's been tortured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the, uh, the 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 pee shock therapy treatment. That that's that's funny though, yeah, man. You know, but listen, like the guys, second day in a row, I'm thinking, oh, oh great! Like last yesterday was, oh great, a uh, uh, a porn star, you know? An ex porn star. And then it got all like yeah. dramatic. Then I'm like, oh great, a comedian. And then my mom shocked me. Like I was like, oh. <laughs> 
Oh, fudge. Yeah. What, what, what did we do? No, I thought it was a really cool story because, I mean, back then, I remember some of the shit my parents used to come up with for obedience and stuff like that. I used to get locked in my room all the time. Are you kidding me? I remember one time, um, my father, um, he didn't like being called Pop. And I'm like, hey, Pop, how you doing? Pop, Pop, what's going on? Pop, Pop, what are you doing? Pop, Pop. And I'm just going on and on and on. He says, one more time, Lou, and you're in for it. And I said it again, and I went off on that little rant, and he threw his briefcase at me. I ran, and I went to go run down the basement steps, because in New York we had basements. I never touched the top step. I felt a sharp pain in my ass, which was his foot, and then I remember landing on the, the in the basement. So, yeah, we, we grew up in different times, but that's funny as hell, man. Could you just imagine? No wonder he didn't get no sleep. He was worried about pissing in the bed and getting electrocuted. <laughs> a little low-voltage shock when you tick up. Wiz, anybody ever piss on an electric fence? That's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that really works. No, I, I pissed on an electric fence. Does it work? Do you get shocked? No, I, I, didn't, I remember touching it and getting shocked. I don't remember. You put your pecker on the fence? No. no oh, no. okay, I was going to say. But you know, I probably would have. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, folks, if you, if you know Joseph like I know Joseph, he would have. If somebody said, I dare you to put your pecker yeah. on that electrified fence. At that time, a he, double dog dare. That's yeah, not, oh, yeah, it was yeah. all over. The pecker yeah. would have been all, he would have been yeah. molesting the fence. I'm not a pussy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I take a dare, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Mike the Mechanic, if you're out there, go ahead and... Uh, Give us a shout. I want to ask you something. Um, where were we, guys? I was uh, I was on marijuana news, but well, I just looked at mine, and apparently I'm on yesterday's news because I'm still got the red tide. Oh yeah. Yeah. So well, if you want to hear about yesterday's news, <laughs> then Joseph's the man to talk to. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go ahead and give another shout out to and a thank you to uh, comedian Philip Galinsky, uh, all the projects that he's got going on. Uh, go ahead and check him out. We'll get those links up on Facebook, Talk Shit uh, TV show. And uh, you can check out comedian Philip Galinsky, and, and, and he's going uh, he's gonna to bomb the show every once in a while. So that ought to be interesting. I'm going to have to program his number in so I know. <laughs> So what else, Hayden, what do you got? You're over there, you're the silent majority. What do you got? So I'm going to give you the mic for a little while. All right, I got the Broncos. Talking to the mic for some reason. I got the Broncos went against the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, hey, listen to that. You heard that? Okay. And uh, the Seahawks beat the Broncos in the Super Bowl last year. This year. And they beat them in the last in season. Pre-season. And the, the Broncos come back and beat them 21 to 16 in the preseason open. What? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was that bad. See, when was this? This was yesterday. Damn, I would have watched that. I really would have. I love the Broncos. What do we got here? I just, uh, oh, yeah. Joseph sent me a video here. It's a Let's comedy see. skit, and it is hilarious. What is it? What, a comedy skit of what? Uh, he's talking about drinking alcohol. Who? I, I think his name is Drew Shaw, but I don't know. This is I'm new with Facebook, man. It's probably not his name at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me take a look here. Let's see what we got. Just the other day, we were talking about tequila. Ten people a night throwing up. <laughs> oh, no, what happened tonight? I've seen him before. Been oh, this is the dude from Half Baked. Yes. Yes. Oh, this guy's hilarious. People never learn when to quit drinking. It's, it's not that you don't have to drink. If you don't want to get sick, it's very simple. What you do is, here's an easy analogy for everybody. This guy's funny as Next time you movie. go drinking, you have to remember, it's like having a Anybody party. Anybody ever see right? Half Baked? It's my party, favorite movie. Oh, my God. It's in your stomach. <laughs> The Did you ever he's the bouncer. He's the door guy. You don't want to annoy him. Right? Weed. Now, when you have a party, you invite your friends. You invite Who's coming with me, man? Who, who, no come problems. on, man. Who's coming with me? Who is it, man? Now, you're going to invite alcohol. Stick yeah, this guy's like funny beer. as hell. Um, I wanted to make the announcement again about Molly. Uh, we had uh, we did an interview yesterday with a um, an ex adult entertainer, where who we're just going to call Molly for now. Good golly, um, Miss Molly. Good golly, Miss Molly. Beautiful woman, <laughs> very, very, very beautiful. And uh, she wanted to give us her insight <clears throat> on her experience in the adult entertainment industry. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, I was expecting to get wood. Uh, I was expecting to be like, yeah, titties, ass, the whole thing. You know, I was going to. I feel gonna, like I got yeah. emotionally right. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. I'll tell you <laughs> what, this, the story took a turn, and she started telling us about the trials and tribulations that she's been through and, you know, what brought her into the porn industry and, and all that kind of shit. And let me tell you something, folks. It's not all um, diamonds and, and roses and smiles and 
champagnes gargles. and yeah, it's not all of that shit. I got to tell you, not even not by far. Um, it was it's it's just a horrible horrible ordeal. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take a one minute commercial break here. We'll be right back. You're listening to uh, Talk Shit Radio on AM FM 24/7. Hi, this is Joseph with Talk Shit Radio. I like to talk about my cell phone carrier, Solove. I've used Solove since 2013, and I can tell you they have great coverage and service. I started with Solove paying $39 a month. That gives you unlimited talk, text, and data. Now my phone bill's free, and I have the ability to generate monthly income. How you ask? Well, simply put, each time someone I refer pays their cell phone bill, Solove sends me $5. If you need cell service or would like residual income, please go to our Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash talk shit TV show and we will have a direct link to Solove. Go check it out and see for yourself. Yeah, this is uh, Brooksville Bob and you're listening to uh, Talk Shit Radio and uh, we're going to teach you a lot of cool stuff. Tune in and see. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Oh. Well, I'll make you horny. for taking his time this morning and calling us up and talk to we were on the phone with Philip for what 40 minutes that was pretty cool definitely know. yeah well I know it was pretty cool but yeah. I don't know if we were on for 40 minutes yeah it was I was watching the time okay it, was it scheduled for a certain amount of time I, no or like... no not at all no, we, hell he could have kept on going if he wanted to if he, he could have said shut up dude I'm not done talking and I would have just shut up and, and Philip if you're out there if you're, if you're listening to the show if you got more to say call up I'll turn my mic down and let you have it man <laughs> I'm cool with that. Uh, Mike the mechanic has not called us in, so I uh, I don't think he's listening this morning. What else we got in the news? I'm going to get off this the marijuana page here because yeah. I'm pulling my plug for the website. A baby dies after stabbing suspect shot and killed by police. A six-month-old baby who was stabbed in Folsom, California, near Sacramento Thursday afternoon died of its injuries later that night. A six-month-old? Six-month-old. Who stabbed a six-month-old? you got to be really screwed up to stab a freaking six-month-old. Yeah. Or inject them with muscle relaxers. Yeah. yeah. What was that? That, that lady. Uh, oh, my God, yes. Texas. Yes. She's being released. That's, are you, oh, yeah, that's right. We were just freaking she's talking about that yesterday now. after 30 years or whatever it was. Yeah, and she should have done 90 or whatever it was. She, yeah, she had, like, a, I guess the max is a 99-year sentence. Sure and killed her. So prisons six, are crowded, so let her out. Yeah, a six-month-old. Yeah, let's talk about that, Hayden. Talk, get into that story a little more because that's pretty interesting. Six months old and got stabbed. How many times? Who did it? That's, I want to know the who, the what, and the where. There's not. There's not a lot on it. Yeah, I don't like, want to know how big the knife was. Like, you know. I guess there's not a lot on it, but talk guy, into the mic. The guy uh, he was a, described as a man in his twenties stabbed the baby. And the mother at an apartment complex on Montrose Drive, which, again, is in Folsom, California. Um, an officer responding to the stabbing shot the assailant, which was the man. Did they kill him or just shoot him? He shot him. He, um, the suspect died on the way to the hospital. Good. Sorry to be such a prick, but good. I wish he would have suffered a little more. Yeah, absolutely. You know, who the hell stabs a six-month-old baby that's... Do they say why? They don't. They don't. No idea why. Obviously. It just. They were Spanish speaking, so they don't have a lot on it yet, and they don't know what the relationship between the victims and the suspect is. They don't know what instigated it. But uh, yeah, that's about as far as I know right now. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Six months old. How, like you said, Hayden, how screwed up do you have to be? The mother, too, right? 
Yes, that's the mother. And where was this? Folsom, California.